just coming from Port Renfrew. Very nice. The coast is about two kilometers that way, I think. A little bit of mist, a little bit of blue sky. Narrow, windy road, 50 kilometers it was saying, but uh, it appears we can keep a nice speed up here. Just in the Port Renfrew pub, met David from North Van. He introduced himself to me, says he follows the channel as a subscriber. Thank you. It was a uh, nice to talk with him. He sounds like he's been to Tofino. He's done a really nice uh, island trip and he's certainly certainly seeing the sights if he's on this road and uh, done uh, I don't know if he's done the uh, I didn't ask him if he's done the Pacific Circle route but I'm assuming he has if he came back from Tofino he might have been able to step onto it from uh, Lake Cowichan he's got a Vistrum maybe based on my review I think he said so I apparently I didn't steer him wrong he he likes it and it was very nice to meet him yeah thanks for introducing yourself to me David I appreciate that we're en route to Jordan River road surface has been a little interesting uh, further back but no problem for this bike i do remember doing it on my w650 many years ago with a friend who had a thruxton and uh, we got absolutely pounded by it but this is uh, quite comfy rest area viewpoint ahead okay we should maybe sombrio number three sombrio beach viewpoint i'm guessing there's a there's a good walk down here rest area Let's check it out. Yeah, I don't see much of a viewpoint. <laughs> Up there? Might see something from up there. Let's take a peek. Sierra 300 is very nice. It said viewpoint, but uh, that must have been several years ago before all the older trees grew up. <laughs> yeah, you can see the ocean. So. That's the ocean there. Yeah, I guess the trees are all grown up. It's a very peekaboo viewpoint. Two uh, CRF 300 rallies, they're nice bikes. Very nice. Yeah, I can see why my W650 was overwhelmed by this. You really need a ADV bike to do these roads. Yeah, I'd say this road is, is way worse <laughs> than the Pacific Circle. I mean, I'm picking my way around some of the big ones. I can see why her, her caravan was all over the place. She was unable to go faster than 45. He's having to hit his brakes. There he goes again. Beautiful. Juan de Fuca, the Olympic Mountains in Washington State down there. That's what you're seeing, if you're seeing it. My eyes can see it, the camera may be too low. There they are. Probably looks tiny on the GoPro. Wow. 
Wow, that's a long way down. That was a long way down. Cold Shoulder Cafe. Very nice. was the lovely little town of Jordan River and a provincial day site and campsite. Look at it out here, just absolutely gorgeous. It's hard to keep focused on the road. As you can see, very windy, not really drone weather. Feel that harsh vibration? Yeah, it's called clutch chudder and it that's the one thing the V-Strom gets. It just doesn't, it's not dangerous or harmful for the bike. It's just wearing the clutch, it's a poorly made clutch basket. If I keep this bike, I'm going to uh, send the clutch basket into works or a company that replace it or rework it, put proper. Even if I buy another clutch basket from Suzuki, it'll do it again. But if I send this in to works, it costs me about 200 bucks or 300 bucks, but they'll completely redo the clutch basket with harder metals. And then it, that vibration goes. See if I can turn around anywhere. Looks like maybe a little road here. Spinnakers tonight. It's a brew pub, of course. Great ride until you get to Souk. Once you get to Souk, you get into this crawl of traffic. So this is where we're staying for the night. What do you think? Wow, in the shade, next to a Benz. God, the steed has done well once again today. Maybe three times a year to the point where it's not raining, hardly ever happens. 